Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you guys restaurant quality braised ribs over this amazing creamy grits. This recipe is literally going to blow your mind. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Please stay tuned. Before I begin, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. Let me not do a lot of talking because I know you're waiting to see how this recipe is done. Let's just dive in. To begin, I have about four short ribs here. I'm going to trim the fat a little bit. It's a little bit fatty. You can skim off the fat after it's done cooking, but I rather trim some of it right now. That's a lot of fat, okay. These are nice and beautiful as you can see. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on the short ribs, just a little bit. Rub that in, just like so. Next, I am going to be seasoning this. I am using coarse sea salt and coarse ground black pepper. I'm going to generously add the seasoning on there. Now you don't want to season this with other seasoning. You don't want it to burn because we're going to sear these. So that's what we're using coarse ground black pepper and salt. Now we're going to coat these with some flour. I'm using about one fourth cup all-purpose flour very lightly just like this set that here i'm going to keep adding or coating them with the flour as you can see i'm doing it very light all right perfect now we're going to sear them i have my cast iron on high heat okay extremely high i'm going to drizzle some olive oil on here not a lot because there's lots of fat on the short ribs. I'm going to place the short ribs right in there. Just like so. I'm going to allow it to become nice and golden brown. Then I can flip it over. So this will take about two minutes, roughly. All right, guys, time to flip the short ribs. All right, now they're nice and golden brown on both sides. As you can see, I'm going to remove them and set them to my slow cooker here. Beautiful. To the same skillet, I'm going to add onions. Also, I have some mushrooms, chopped, diced up, and also we have a little bit of minced garlic that we're going to add in. Give that a stir. I have about two to three tablespoons of tomato paste. Add that in there. I'm going to fry that for about 30 seconds just to remove the raw tomato paste flavor. Once that is nice and fried up, I am going to add one cup of red wine. Stir it up. Okay. I'm going to grab that and we're going to move on. Over here, I'm going to pour this on top of the short ribs. Beautiful. One thing I like to do, I like to flip them over where the meat is upside down so the meat can cook. You know, the top is the bones. So flip them over just like this. I'm going to season with a little bit of complete seasoning. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. 
I am going to add some rosemary. You can add thyme to it as well. And here we have about four cups of beef broth. Pour that in. I have about two beef cubes that I'm going to add in here. This is going to be so good. Add that in here, give it another stir. Beautiful, then we're going to cover, allow this to simmer on medium low heat for about one hour to two hours, okay? The ribs is about to be ready in about 20 minutes. I am going to be working on the grit. I'm making a creamy, cheesy grit. So to begin, I have about two cups of chicken broth here. I'm going to pour. This is already heating up, that's fine. Next, I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Just add it in, okay? Now to season it, I have about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper with one teaspoon of salt. Add that in, I'm going to allow this to start boiling and then I can add the grits right in. All right, the water is boiling. I am going to add in the grits. Pour that in. As you're adding it, make sure you're stirring it and add it slowly so you don't form any lumps. Give it a stir. Just like that. Alrighty, now I am going to lower the temperature a little bit. Then I'm going to cover this, allow it to cook. Because we are using instant grits, it shouldn't take long. So I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. So cover, lower the temperature, and let it simmer. The grits is at its final cooking. I'm going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter in here. Also, I have some Colby Jack cheese I'm going to add in there. You can use cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, whatever cheese that you do like. I'm going to add that in there and give it a mix, just like this. It's going to be cheesy, creamy, smooth grits, all right? Nice and cheesy, smooth. Okay guys, our short ribs is finally ready. This took me about two hours for it to get this tender. Come take a look, it looks so good. It's falling apart, oh my gosh. It looks so good. The bones, they literally fell off. The bone is not sticking to the meat anymore. <laughs> so that's how you know, this is good. Let me see, let me see. Okay, it's tender, it's tender. You guys, this is tender, right? Okay, let me not break it. Let's plate this up, all right? Let me tell you, I'm starving right now, and this is the best time, okay? Because I know I'm going to eat good. So let's give this a try, shall we? This is amazingly so good. Leave me a comment down below. If you're going to try this out, you must try it. It's so good. Come back and leave me a comment that you enjoy this. Also, if you have not done so, give this video a thumbs up. Let's get it to 1,000 likes, because I know you can do it. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys. I'm going to enjoy. That's it. That is it.